Bob. Uh, now here's the Howard Stern Halloween special. Uh, yeah. Okay, Bob. Now. Okay, do the er, uh, then. Uh, now here's the ha Howard Stern Halloween special. Uh, now. One more time. Now. Okay. He's going to go er, uh, then right into now here's the Howard Stern Halloween special. Yeah, but, uh, but, but you got to. This won't, yo, uh, uh, now there's Howard Stern Halloween special. Uh. Now, okay. Hi, I am Kreskin. You know, people know me as the amazing Kreskin, but there have been people before me that have been amazing in other ways. I, I agree with Howard that Sam Kinison was a genius. Wouldn't it be interesting if he joined us on the program today? And how could he join us? I'm going to let you know the secret. I'm not a magician, I'm a mentalist, but I'm going to have an awful lot to do with it. I'm going to try to bring him here on the air. You've got to stay tuned. I would if I were involved. So let me go to uh, Stuttering John, who's up at the uh, Methadone Clinic in Harlem, looking for guys to uh, come down here and be part of our spectacular seance this morning, contacting Sam Kinison. All right, uh, John. Hey, how are you? Both lines up? Oh, Howard? okay. Yeah, all right. I'll put both lines up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here we go. All right. I, I'm, I'm in front of the, uh, you know, the family <laughs> medical care center. Right. And they're all waiting for the methadone here. And uh, all of them want to come, right, guys? Yeah! So, so we, uh, a woman here, it's it's her birthday today. Hi. Hi, how are you, ma'am? Hi, I'm dying to meet you. Yeah, I'm dying to meet you, baby. How are you? What? I'm going down there. Yes. Now, ma'am. you want yeah, I, are you what? are you familiar with Sam Kinison? Yes. You are. Yes. yes. We're going to try and contact him today for the big séance. Okay. All right. You know what a séance is? Yes, I do. Excellent. Excellent. John, hey, let me speak people to. People are down there. Oh, there's a whole big Hi, line of Robin. people. Hi there. How you doing? I'm okay. Can't wait to meet you. Big Robin fan. Okay. Oh. Hey, baby. Maybe you and Robin will get it on this morning. <laughs> oh, I would love to. Yeah. He's open to anything. Yeah, this is going to be very, very exciting. Because if Sam Kinison enters her body, Sam will probably want to get it on with you, Robin. Like in the movie Ghost, when Whoopi had to get it on with Demi Moore. Oh, yeah. Hey, here's a guy who says that if Crack can't get him to talk like Sam Kinison, then Kreskin can. Yo, Howard, what's up, baby? Hey, i got to tell you something. You're easier to understand than Stuttering John. I have no idea what he said. Something about Crack. I just took a hit, Howard. What's up? How you feeling? You took a hit of what? What'd you take? took a hit. What'd you take a hit of? What you think? Oh, good. And you're standing in the methadone line? <laughs> I'm not with the methadone. I'm with my own program. Oh, I see. You got <laughs> He's got, you got yourself medicating. <laughs> I just got medicated, exactly. I just had a wake up. I hear you. Hey, listen. How do you feel this morning, Alex? I feel pretty good. What we wanted to do is find a bunch of people who had no relationship to the amazing Kreskin. I don't think he's ever met these people. Never in my life. Only thing I know is me and the pipe. Do you swear that you have never met amazing Kreskin while you were doing I the pipe? I've never met amazing Kreskin. Only thing I met is me and the res. Okay, so here's the deal. You yeah. come down here, uh -huh. and maybe you'll be the person to contact Sam Kinison. Okay. You remember Sam Kinison, right? No, I don't. He was a comedian, he big fat know guy. Anything but the res. In fact, uh, Sam. Well, I know other things too. Sam Kinison did a whole bunch of coke. Okay. All right, so you'll have something in common with he didn't him. Do it with me, though. No, he did not. No. He missed you. He, he missed, missed you. <laughs> You're the only guy he missed. Uh, I bet. All right, let me talk to some other people there, All John. Right, All right. Here's somebody dying to talk to you, Howard. He's, my name is Karen. Tim's drinking a nice tall bud here. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Howard Stern. Yeah, hi, how are you? Yeah, how you doing? All right, you're waiting in line for some methadone? No, I'm coming to your studio. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina. Right? I see. All right, well, you... And listen, hold on, let me ask you something. Go ahead and ask me. Did you get some pussy last night? Oh! <laughs> Where did he... Yeah, my cat was, uh... He must, be talking, about, he must be talking about my pussy cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... All right, I, I, you know what? Why don't you just... Why don't you get in the bus and just get down well, here? When I get to the studio, I'm going to ask him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can ask him a question. And question. he's drinking a butt. Where did he get that? <laughs> how you feel, Howard Stern? Hi, how are you? Okay, okay. I like you, man. Thank you. Are you uh, in line for the methadone? 
No, sir. No, sir. Well, these two guys we picked up before we got to the methadone clinic. I house. see. Yeah. I and see. Um, I would like to say I love your show. Thank you. And um, um, I used to see you on regular TV. Right. With the, with the big breasts woman. Yes. And um, I miss you, man. Well, I miss you, and today and we will be reunited. What happened God bless to regular TV? God bless you. <laughs> God, God, bless you. you. God bless you. God bless you. Howard, here's a, a guy who's, who is our life for the methadone. Hello, Howard. Yes, hi. How you doing? Yeah, listen, we're going to love to have you down here today for the big seance. Can you make yeah, it? Yeah, I, I can't wait to I go there. You, you're going to have some women's over there? Yes, we will. Oh, dear. They got the big breasts and everything? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, That's sir. That's what I want to see, Howard. Yeah, you'll be seeing that. And Robin's got them all. Okay. There's all pl right. plenty of big breasts to go around. I saw your picture, and your picture was bad. You went to the movie. Oh, yeah, you did a movie, yeah. Now, were you high when you saw the movie? Yeah. You were. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was high when I made it. Okay, listen, I'll leave you. It was nice meeting you. All right? Nice meeting you. Oh, you're see coming you. with me, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. I'm going to the studio. Today. All right, we'll see I you in a couple. Okay. Are I they getting out of the methadone line? Yeah. Right yeah. Well, well, Everyone served, will be nicely sedated. <laughs> they served the methadone until 3 o'clock. It was tough to get them out of, out of, because, because it opens at 7. Right. But the uh, 20 bucks and, and the lore of donuts, I think, is going to do it. Wow. Yeah. Donuts instead of methadone and 20 bucks. That'll do it every time. All right, John, get everyone in a bus. Get them down here for the big seance with Kreskin. You got it. All right, brother. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, how many we got? How many we got? We got ten. We got ten. Let's go. How you doing? This is Stuttering John. We've got. Uh, I'll be back. Let me let me look something. Oh wait, well we used to have eleven people, but now we have ten people here waiting to go to see Howard. I was there. And be part of the seance. Yeah. yeah. With the amazing Kreskin and yeah. a lot of and a lot of big boobs. Yeah. yeah. I want to be hypnotized. Yeah. There he is, Stuttering John, doing a good job up there in Harlem at the Methadone Clinic. That ain't easy. Imagine. That ain't easy to get everyone psyched up. <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you don't realize, standing in line. You don't realize the activity that goes on in New York. Sheesh. There are people out there hard working trying to get their methadone. <laughs> trying to score. Drinking at six. Yeah. Don't you be out. laughing at that. Yeah, really, because you could be right there with them if we hadn't found you. <laughs> that's where you'd be. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Okay, so anyway, then we have some people outside who all want to get in. Let's uh, see if we can't aim a camera on them. Oh, okay. And find out what's going on. And hopefully we can talk to a few of them. Do you have a microphone out there? 60 seconds. <clears throat> in 60 seconds, we'll get to them. Yeah, you just went down, but you can see some of them there. Oh, we can... Uh... All right, there's a whole bunch of people in costume. We'll take a look at their costumes in just a minute. Already drinking. Is there drinking going on, drinking activity? Yes, there is. Good. Kreskin should have his hands full with this crowd. Well, he play, works nightclubs. He's just people drinking while he works with them. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, we're, we're, let me see if I can get my uh, microphone working outside. I have no idea how to bring this up. Really no idea. Looks like a bunch of people ready to party. Yeah. Is there a way that I bring up a microphone? Someone want to help me with this? Scott, the engineer, would probably be standing by if he was a competent engineer. Ah, here he comes sauntering in. Why, why don't you just give me a clue? Right here. We, oh, okay, thanks. Right Gary, you out there? No, it's Ganji. Ganji, hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> why am I talking to Ganji? All right, now, it's kind of hard to see out there, Robin. It's so dark. I know. Howard, we have lots of freaks and weirdos out here. Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> lots of freaks and weirdos. Like, he's any better. I what heard a he dick. was sick yesterday. He had to go home early. Yeah, oh, he's, he always gets like that. He's a little baby. <laughs> he's always getting, like, sick. This is not about me. This he's is so much of a puss, he can't even ask for uh, some time off. He has to lie and say he's sick. <laughs> I was sick. Yeah, okay. You sound it. All right, Ganji. Hey, who do you, there's uh, lots of hot girls, too. Listen, yeah. forget the hot girls. How come I can't see anybody? You got a you, you got a uh, camera down there that I could see somebody. You got a infrared light or something. You have the overhead shot. Well, you know what? Gary came in this morning. I go, Gary, is a camera ready to go so I can see the people on the street? He goes, Nobody told me we needed a camera on the street. I go, uh, well, What were we talking about? The whole idea of people being yeah, out there. Uh, what are we gonna do with them down there? Yeah. I, uh, so now he's made, he says nobody told him. So I'm just banging my head against the wall. I don't think they're set up for this at all. So I can't really see anybody. Yeah. Don't tell me you didn't know I was going to do this. If we'd have planned it... What's in your mouth? If, I'm having a sandwich. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, what? If we'd, if we'd have planned this yesterday, yeah. this is what we do. We'd put an overhead camera down. We have no way to get a cable Baba camera Bowie. up from Baba Bowie. Kidding, There's no camera on the street? How do Baba we do Bowie. Scott the Engineer? What are you talking Baba about? Bowie. Well, you got you to order that like in advance and it's expensive. Yeah, well, right? that's why I've been promoting Baba this for Bowie. a week. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. I, How am I supposed to see anybody out on the street? They're all in costume. 
Baba Bowie. You can't see that? No, I can't see. You can tell what anybody's Baba, wearing? Baba Bowie. Yeah. Oh, I there's can't a, there's a girl right there on your left. She's wearing like a Herman Munster mask, and her shirt says she's got a white shirt with red lettering on it. And you can see the people, and you can see where Ganji is. Well, no, because I'm looking at a big picture of Sam Kinison on our TV screen. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm glad you can. Ganji, where are you exactly so I can talk to some of these people? I'm right in front of the crowd on 56th Street. Yeah, but where... There he is, right there. All right. <laughs> see me waving? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out... Well, I see a lot of hot chicks. That immediately gets my idea, gets my, uh, my blood flowing. There's a lot of interesting costumes. Maybe you can move around and see some of these costumes. I see women in mini skirts and stuff, which is always kind of good. Move the camera around a little bit so I can see some of the costumes. There's a girl dressed as Dracula. There's a fart man. There's a guy dressed as fart man. I see a nun. What do, you, what do you think of the guy as fart man? Oh, that's cool. Baba Bowie. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Step back. Everyone else step back. Back up against the wall. Back up against the wall. It's like Treblanka. Crowd control. Hey. I'm here, Howard! Yeah, I'm trying to see your costume. It's kind of difficult. Everyone back up. Where are you from, dude? Where, where are you from? I'm from Corning, New Jersey. Can't hear you, Howard. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. I'm speechless at the setup. Ah, there you go. <laughs> i got to be honest with you. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, I don't know, Robin. What do you think the criteria should be here? I don't know. I mean, How about my butt cheeks? Let me see your butt cheeks. Bend over. <laughs> Finally, somebody with worse butt cheeks than mine. I'm and the Fort belly. Man. Yeah. I'm Fortman. Nice costume, man. Do you like it? Yeah, you kind of do. Good for you, dude. Yeah, it's a nice Whoa. costume, isn't it, Robin? Yeah, he did a good job. <laughs> did I dream this or did I promote it for three weeks? You promoted it all every day. That we were going to have people out on the street right. and we we're going to have a camera right. and, yeah. Am I in? I wonder why my producer doesn't know. How come my producer doesn't know that, Gary? H Howard, if it's any consolation, Scott Einziger thought the same thing. I thought we'd bring him up to the green room and screen him from there. All those people into the green room? Yeah. You, how many people? Howard, are, uh, Howard, I got it. Did you think there'd be a lot of I, people out there? How could you bring them all into the green room? We brought a lot of people up here before. Hundreds of people into the green room like that? <laughs> There's somebody I think who's supposed to be uh, the Sim Marge Simpson. Where? That's that, the big blue head there. I thought she had a bucket on her. Head. Yeah, so did I. Oh, that's Marge Simpson. <laughs> I think. Let me speak to her. Boy, she's got some rack. Hey. Hi. How are you, Marge? Just tilt your head back. <laughs> she can't even hear us. Hi, Hi Howard. Hi. Oh. You got some rack. What are those D's? Yeah, are those D's? I can't hear him at all. Not through her thing. Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, what are those D cups on you? Huh? You have D cups? Um, yeah, they're like a, a CD. Wow. Yeah, aren't they, they nice? They are like a CD. Yeah, they're like bigger than my eyeballs. Wow, they're huge. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice I rack. Think. I'm glad. My eyes are popping off. Hey, take off your March Simpson hat for a second. I want to see what you look like. Take off your hat. Do you, no, do you really want me to do that? I just want to see if you're hot. Uh, I'm, I'm hot. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> she dressed up like Marge Simpson. It's hard to see what's doing underneath there. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. There you go. Now you stay outside. She's got a big rack, though, I'll tell you that. Uh, well, look all around her. I don't know what these people are supposed to be, but there's a number of girls that are hardly dressed. Yeah, ma'am, uh, the, the woman with the little bikini top to the to, to, on the on the left, I guess, of you. Okay. Pass the microphone to her. Uh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, her. What are you supposed to be? Guys, hello? Hi, what are you supposed to be? I'm a mermaid. Oh, oh. is that what you are? Yeah, I'm a mermaid. Yeah, you're pretty hot. How old are you? I'm 21, with breast implants. Wow. Yeah, you want to see them? Yeah. Okay, let me up. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess you would get in, wouldn't well, you? My sister's here with her friend, and she's got breast implants too. Who else has breast implants? Let's right see. Let me. There. You have breast implants? Right there. It's my sister, and that's her friend Natalie. Wow, look at that! All those girls have breast implants. Are you girls strippers? No. What do you do? Um, well, she's a nurse, and she works um, for an environmental company, and I'm a hairdresser. Wow. Yeah, hairdressers are hot. They're very loose, too. Are they? How do you know that? Because I used to date hairdressers. Really? Boy, I never had one of those. Let me talk to your sister. You want to talk to her? Hold yeah, on. Yeah, your sister's really pretty. Hello? How old are you? 
23. Wow, that's what 23 looks like, Robin. <laughs> you remember back that far? Lest anyone forget. And how big are your implants? Are you D cup now? A C. You're a C. And what were you, an A? Yeah, I was an A. Uh, and did it really change your life getting breast implants? Definitely. Guys really look, huh? Yeah, they look more so now. Yeah, and uh, what those cost? Uh, 6,500. Well, those are good ones, Robin. Yeah, good ones. Those are saline? Yes. Over the muscle. Yeah, they look, they, boy, look at the cleavage. <laughs> What's better, over or under? I forget. Over I, looks more natural, I think. I think over just, get, no, I think over looks less natural, but you get better cleavage, and I like it less uh, natural. You can push them together. Right. When they get it under the under, muscle. you can't push them together? No, they look like real breasts. <laughs> it's kind of a drag. <laughs> talk to my friend? <laughs> uh, you look pretty cute, I'll tell you that. <laughs> There's a lot of cool costumes. Pan the camera around. Let me see what else is doing out there. Yeah, I don't know what that guy next to her is supposed to be. Yeah, now what's that guy next to you supposed to be? The guy who's got his thumb up in the air. I don't even think he's dressed as anything. He looks like he's dressed as a cop. No, I meant the other way with the weird head. Oh, the Martian guy? Yeah, is that a Martian? I think he's supposed to be Fred. (laughs) Ask that guy what he is. Hey, what are you? What are you supposed to be? I'm Evil Tom. Oh, Evil Tom. Tom, our general manager. (laughs) Hey, Howard. Yeah. How you doing? All right, man. And uh, I guess this time down here next to these girls. Ganji, pan the camera around. Who was that girl behind you in the uh, bikini? What's she supposed to be? Look up. Look, up. Look, up. Look at her, man. She's. We got a lot of cute girls yeah. listening to us. I'll and tell you that. I guess there's uh, Marilyn Manson. <coughs> oh, Howard, these girls are hot down here, man. Yeah, I know. Now, who's that girl behind you? What's oh. she? What's she supposed to be? Oh, forget all about me, huh? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Cares about you. <laughs> I don't know what she's supposed to be. Hey. All right. Okay. My bad. Look up. Hey. How hey, you doing? what are you supposed to be? What am I supposed to be? Yeah. A very big breasted woman. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's a convincing yeah. costume. I'm sorry, what? It's a good costume. Thank you. What do you got on a bikini? What? No. What is that, Rob? It's a little top that's open, you know, it has like a ties and then it opens at the bottom. Yeah, how old are you? Uh-huh. I'm 22. Wow. There's 22. No, there's nobody over 24 out there this morning. Well, what, what person over 24 has time yeah, to stand there in a the costume? Work, you know, they got I would children do her. to raise. You're damn right you'd do her. So, uh, what do you do for a living? You're a stripper? <laughs> no. What do you do? I do video editing for a private company. Oh, really? Oh, man. Jesus, this is going to be tough. How Look many people? the girl who just yelled out she does phone sex. Where? Raise your hand, phone sex girl. Who is the girl that said That's her, this sex. one here. All right, let me oh. talk to her. <laughs> that's, that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Howard. You do phone sex? Yes, I'm a phone sex operator. No kidding. What n- what number do you work for? I work for all different kinds, 212-1-800 and 970s. Really? I do uh, tra- uh, transvestite calls and um, uh, cross-dressing calls. Now you mean guys who are transvestites want to call a woman and they call you? Yes, also transsexuals. I play like this, you know, I talk real deep. Oh, I see. You wow. pretend to be a transsexual. Guys. Wow. And you're really good at it? I'm very good at it, Howard. I'll do anything for you. I'll even, like, eat something out of Jackie's ass. Oh. Please. Oh, I've seen enough let me of tell it. you something. I also, I also want to date Ralph. Phone, you want to date Ralph? Yes. Good luck. No chance. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you something. Uh, you look like. How much do you weigh? I weigh 140. Yeah. I think if you weighed 90, he'd look at you. He's got. He's real particular. He's a pain in the ass. He, he, if he sees a bit of cellulite on a woman, Forget that's it. it. He, Ralph? He, he, when yeah. Ralph can overanalyze any woman. He can sit there and look at them and say, I don't like those hairs on the top of her thigh. I don't like... He's dated scores uh, strippers, and then he calls me up and he goes, I don't know. He goes, like, she... I don't know, like, I saw this stretch mark on her stomach. Excuse me, but I think that if, like, if Ralph could prove to me that he's not gay, right, he would go out with me, definitely. All oh, right, I, I can see it's going to be a long show today. All right, listen, i got to take a break. Gary, somehow I think you're going to have to go down there and pick some people. Right, I, I, I'm going to uh, pick 15 people. You are? Yeah. I hope I'll, pick, I'll help you pick me because I would love to entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> she don't she even sound. Phone sex girl. You think so? I don't. Let me see, let me see something. Hey, baby, I really want you. I know you do, baby, but I really want you. Hmm. How big is your? No, oh, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take the mic away. The mic away from her. She's completely out of it. <laughs> give, give me an idea, Howard, of what sort of a ratio you want of men and women. I mean, I could bring up all women if you 90 want. Ninety women and one guy. That's no, I don't know. No, I don't know. Like, some of the guys have really good costumes. See, guys really work at this. Hey, what's that noise? I don't know. We got some interesting. Uh, um, what's that guy with the weird wig on? Who's he supposed to be? Let me see. Hey, dude, who is, who's the guy with the weird wig? Which, uh, the, which guy? The blonde. Blonde guy? Yeah. Hold on. What are you supposed to be? Ganji! 
are you supposed to be? I'm Howard and these Knight of Combine. I don't know what the hell I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to that guy. Right. I'll get you one day, Howard. I came all the way back in from the grave not for it to get stand on line and wait for here to get in there. Yo, who's that? Yo, stop playing. Stop playing. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's up, Howie, baby? Now, what do you do for a living? Me, I'm a warehouse manager. All right, and uh, probably now, this guy probably lost my job by now. All right, and you're dressed as D. Snyder. I'm D. Snyder right now. I couldn't find the bandana. I would have been Sam myself because I used to be Sam myself in real life. Hey, now what is this girl? What this girl give me the finger? Hey, talk to this girl next to you. Why? Why is this? With the finger? What? Why is that girl giving me the finger, man? Don't give him the finger. She's got a. She's got an accent too. Ganji, give her the microphone. Do something with you? I don't know. Ganji can't. I keep hearing her yelling that she's gonna get fired, Howard. Let me well, Ganji, give her the microphone. <laughs> Ganji, hey, Ganji dude, can't hear me. Hand that girl the microphone. You got it. He wants yeah. the mic for you. <clears throat> Hold on, here she is. Howard. Why are you giving me the finger, honey? Because I work two floors below you and I'm gonna get fired because I snuck in the big building illegally today if I don't talk to you. What? I work on the 16th floor and if oh. I don't, I snuck in the building illegally and I'm gonna get fired unless I talk to you. What do you mean? I don't understand how you snuck in the bu building illegally. I work on 16. I work in ICM on 16. Yeah. Which I'm probably going to get fucking fired. Oh, wait, don't say the F word, please. Oh, sorry, You're Kat. killing me. I'm sorry, baby. And I need to talk to you so I can at least tell my boss some reason why I'm stuck in the building, you know? Wow, that's weird. What is she saying? Yeah, She's, I don't know, but you need her up here. Yeah, we She's need you. Of, you're in. You want me up, right, Howie? Yeah, you, you can come up. Howard, <laughs> she's... My man, you can, have you can come up, what? She's definitely... I, have you been drinking? Yeah, have you, I have. Yeah, she's hammered. <laughs> all, all night. Uh, all night. And I have a midterm in a half an hour I have to take. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to screw that midterm because, Howie, you're better than my college education. What college do you go to? I go to community college because I'm a loser and I screwed up in high school. And I'm trying to get into a good college, but I can't afford it. Boy, she's good looking, too, and yeah. drunk. I'm strip to make money for college. You strip? Yep. You do strip? I right, get her up here now. I strip, but it does not work. I'm not getting the money I need for college. That's all we need. How, what did you drink last night? Everything. White Russians. Really? White Russians all night. All right, come on up here and have sex with me. How, all right, I'm up. How right. many White Russians did you have? About ten. Oh. I'm bombed. I'm still bombed, and I'm going to take this test bombed, and I'm going to pass. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what is the test in? What subject? Who cares? Sociology. Sociology. That's it. I just can't imagine that. <laughs> She's going to go there loaded. Imagine teaching in community college. What a thankless job. i got to take a break. Send her up, Ganji. She's the first one. You can okay. go up. All right, Gary. Do me a favor here. Let's uh, let's get up. We, we already allowed a couple of people in. I say let the guy in with the fart man costume. He, he went to a lot of work. I would say let the guy in dressed as D. Snyder. That's real funny. Okay. Uh, can you can you boost the uh, microphone? There we go. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Hey, that sounds good. I just asked Scott during the commercial, what's this all about? It's like, it's just some activity you get, but it can't be because it wasn't there and now it is. Believe me, we don't we don't have a professional radio department here at all. There looks like a guy who's supposed to be Pinhead down there. Pinhead? There's an S and M guy down. There. An oh, S &M an S and M guy. guy. Okay. Listen to this. Sheesh. We're not going to be able to do this. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it. There's a, there's a great Marv Albert, too. Let me see the Marv Albert guy. Where is he? Hey, is that Marv Albert? Are you Marv Albert? No, hold on. The phone just went dead. Here he is. Okay. Yes, Howard. Yes. <laughs> Howard. Hey, look up, look up so I can see you. Yes, I'm looking up, Howard. Yeah, all right, that's good. Let him be Marv Albert. Let him come on up. Downtown, Howard. <laughs> yeah. Somebody just pulled off his toupee. He's wearing garter belts and, and stockings. Did you see that under his suit? Yeah, let that guy up. He went to a lot of work. Okay, what is that pinhead thing? What is that, what is that guy? He's the s guy. Let me talk to pinhead. Hold on. Howard, are we letting the two sisters up with the implants? Yeah. Hey, you need a druid. I can't hear you. Hi. Dude, what are you supposed to be? Spikes are too, too far away. Hi, Howard. Hey, what are you supposed to be? You need someone to come up there and beat Robin's I ass. I up and beat your ass. It's a Druid holiday. I'm going to give Robin what she really needs. <laughs> Robin! Oh, my God. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's dressed in a full S&M gear. Hey, I'm a Druid right here. What is a Druid? They keep screaming Druid. I don't know. F. Timmy. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Bring that guy up here. Yeah, he, Robin needs some uh, discipline. 
All right, let that guy up. Okay. What about the guy in the in the weird mask with the red uh, t- uh, mohawk? The mohawk. Right in front of you. Right oh. to your right, Gangie. There you go. What are you supposed to be, dude? Oh, Howard. Hey, what are you supposed to be? I'm just like this Tom funky Luka. punk looking 70s dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can come up. Now let him come up. All right, go go take care of everything, all right? Take care of this. And you know what? Get a couple more people from the yeah, outside, and then we'll get Jackson going. There's a Michael Jackson sort of guy out there. There's a guy that looks like a ketchup bottle. Yeah, the Ma- Michael Jackson guy looks good. Get him up here. Michael Jackson. Uh, good. Awesome. He looks pretty good. Hey, who are those three broads, Ganji? Uh, those the, are the implant girls. Get the implant girls up here, dude. Yeah, I got to look at them. I don't care. I'm a guy. <laughs> They're getting in. Now, there's a couple of nuns. What is the nun supposed to be? Uh, Mother maybe Teresa? Mother Teresa. I don't know. What about the guy in the bra? He looks pretty good. Yeah, the guy who dressed as Marv Albert. <laughs> yeah, and there's the D. Snyder guy. Why aren't they letting him in? That's not the same guy. Oh, it's no, not. Well, he lo- let me let me talk to the Jackie that's guy. The Jackie guy. Because that guy's got a whole bunch of Heineken. Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. hey. And he's got a big rubber thing sticking out of his belly button, like Jackie's <laughs> belly button. It exploded. What's that, Jackie? Uh, uh, my belly button exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I got Heineken in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, let that guy in. Oh, man. <laughs> let that guy in. All right, you made it. All right, that guy's good. He's a good Jackie. I want to see that belly button thing he's got. Okay. Uh, Gary, go down and get giving a bunch more people, and then uh, we'll get this seance thing going. There's somebody dressed like the queen. <laughs> oh, that's Princess Di. Yeah. Oh, that's Princess Di? Yeah, in the red or orange? Is that Princess Di? Who's you supposed to be? Princess Di, yeah. yeah. Let me talk to that guy. <laughs> How'd you get down here, man? I'm sorry, how? What'd you do? You walked down here in that Princess Di dress? Yeah, I took the subway down. <laughs> dress like that? I'm sorry? Dress like that? Yeah, dress like that. I got a lot of good looks on the one and nine line, let me tell you. Wow. And uh, where do you work? Uh, I actually work in Midtown for a uh, cable company. All right, you're in. Let that guy in. That, that takes balls. And what about the bra and panties? Let me talk to that brown panties guy. That takes balls, too. The brown panties, panties guy, hold on. Yeah, he's got a Yankee hat on. Hey, good morning, Howard. Hey, man, who are you, Marv Albert? No, yeah, Marv Albert today. Or <laughs> Scott Taylor. Scott Which one is You're Scott the engineer, I guess. Oh, only for one day, though. Yeah, what do you do? What do I do? I drive a cab. You do? All right, you're in. All right. All right. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <laughs> All right, just get, get a couple more people up here, and then we'll get this thing going. <laughs> it's pretty wild out there. <laughs> There's a girl a superhero out there. Jesus, let me see that. Right there, with the cape and the blue. Gangie, get the girl in the superhero outfit. That is kind of good. Yes! Oh, wow. Hi, Howard. What are you dressed as? I'm dressed as Supergirl. I know you love Superman comics, and I want to do something like a tribute to you. That is a pretty good costume. It looks like you have very large breasts. Is that true? I do. I do. Cups. Wow, look at those sea cups, Robin. <laughs> they're, they're straining against I their blue uniform. Yes, because of them. I know. Hi there. How old are you? You look about 21. Oh, no, I'm 24. Wow. Yeah. 24 and so much more. Yes, baby, you know it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Howard, I would love to come up and see you, please. All right. Thank you so much. You rock. I can't wait to get up there. See you okay. later. Okay. Hey, who's the fat broad next to you? Oh, okay. Wendy. Oh, Howard. Oh, he wants to talk to you. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, uh, Gangie, let me talk to that fat chick next to uh, the Superman lady. Uh, oh, that's the phone sex which, operator. Tell me which way. Oh, that? The no, no, no. The fat chick would be... She just said, I'm the phone sex operator. Yeah, that was. Oh, that's her? Yeah, that's yeah. her. All right, let her up, too. All right, you get to go up. That way people don't think I discriminate against the obese. Who is the guy in the black? With the, guy, the hat? Sort of the Howard. Freddy Krueger guy? Let me talk to this Freddy Krueger guy in front of you, Gangie. Oh, no, he's Don Imus. Hold on. Oh, that's funny. Let me talk to him. How you doing, Imus? Hello, Howard. How are you? I'm very well. Yeah, you don't look too good. I, I couldn't decide, should I come as Don Imus or Don Imus's career, and I picked the happy medium. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, let me see. Look up at me. Look, look straight up. <laughs> yeah, all right, My you're in. My career is as over as this face. All right, you're in. You, let him come in, okay? You get to go up. Yeah, go ahead. All right, listen, let me take a break. We'll come back, and we'll get some more people. There's a lot of fascinating people out there. Then we got our methadone clinic people. We got some score strippers coming down. 
and getting them all ready for the seance. Hey, oh, well, and, you know who's uh, who's really strange? I don't know. Uh, uh, Kreskin. You know Kreskin's been here? Yeah. So I met him in the hallway, yeah. and I was ready for the handshake. Yeah. You know, totally prepared for that. But what I wasn't prepared for, he started slapping my back really hard. And Howard, I swear to God, it still stings. And I lifted up my shirt, and there's like big Kreskin paw marks on my back. Well, what is wrong with him? I mean, he hit it really hard. See, and, when you're ready for the handshake, he hurts you some other way. It, I mean, it was painful. All right, I hear the van is here from Harlem. Uh, uh, I can't wait to talk to those people. We'll be back right after these words with the big Halloween show. Can I just have your attention for one second, please? Oh, yeah. Quiet down, quiet down for a second. Thank you. Okay, Kreskin is going to come out here in about two seconds, and he's going to address you. He's going to explain exactly what's going to go on. Of the group of people that are here, 16 of you will make it into the studio for the seance. Um, that's up to Kreskin. He's going to get you guys at car tables, and he's going to go around and see who works best for the seance, who's best for contacting spirits. Right. So uh, let's bring Kreskin out right now. Doug? Kreskin, what do you think of all these people? I want to tell you, this is an intellectual meeting on a different level. I love it. I mean, what else would you have for Halloween? Intellectually stimulating? <laughs> yeah, it's fun, too. You know, all my friends at home, the pictures on the wall are like that. So those are the only interesting people in life. Even the camera guy's not bad, I'll tell you. Now listen, folks. Can you all hear me? Yes. Sir. Yeah. This is wild. If any of you saw me, when you hear Letterman talk about the business of tables flying all over the place and flipping over, it's because he remembered something I did on a television show some years ago, a Tonight Show, that was repeated one week later because they never saw such chaos. Now, unfortunately, I can only use four tables, and, and this is not an act. If anybody says this is a fraud or a fake, you want to quote me, they got sexual problems. Because this is legitimate. We're not communicating with the dead, but we're doing something that happens at seances. When you put your hands on the table, now just watch me. Don't do it yet. You're going to put your hands on the table just uh, in front of you, but you're going to have the pinkies of the person next to you touching. You may lose contact with them when the table starts to rock and vibrate. In Howard's show, now some, how many of you saw me do this some time ago on TV? Yeah. If you remember, the table starts sliding across the floor, banging in the cameras and what have you. When that happens on the air, you go with the table. Don't, if you, if you let go, if you take one hand off the table, it will stop like that. Because there are four of you making a chain, even though you may not be touching some of the time. Now let me show you what's gonna happen. Put your hands on the table, make a circle, if you will, make a circle. And, I do, and listen to me now, uh, have your fingertips touching the person next to you. Now, now listen to what I'm saying because it's, it's going to take a, a couple of minutes it's the first time on the air will happen in no time now i want you to concentrate on your table concentrate on it coming to life in your own mind you look at the table and you think to yourself just think of a coming to life and as soon as you start to feel a vibration a shaking uh, camera guys have to be what know me well enough i gotta move around he can't walk amongst because i gotta run down amongst you as soon as you watch your own table as soon as you feel it start to shake, it may be coming towards you or sideways. Call my name and say, Preston. <laughs> that one is going wild. Okay, stay with it because it may flip over. Stay with it. Stay with it. You are number one. There, you guys there, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You're number two. I know. Stand up. Yeah, stay with it. Stay with it. That's out of control. That's not, stay with it. Out of control. It's really, you're number two. You're number two. It's really happening. It's really happening. And by the way, if you concentrate, it will happen. It'll happen to anybody who gives their thought. Preston! Get out of the thing. Get out. It's somebody else. It's somebody else. This is wild. Yeah, look, get over here. Get over here. Is this one going too? No, no. I will stop smoking crack if this shit is moving. Damn, I'm excited about this. And there he is, the man of the hour. The amazing one, the one and only, the man who can shake your hand until your hand actually falls off. The amazing Kreskin. He's in the room. I can't even hear the amazing Kreskin. There's a guy, there's a guy out there, Peter Mustrand. You know, he's my road manager for two years. God forbid you interview him. He'd be so modest. Hi, Robin. Hello. Here he's <laughs> taking pictures of me, and I said he worked for me for two years. He's now on your staff. Kreskin, I am now going to channel you into some sort of focus because you're rambling. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what he's talking about. No one does. Howard. No one Howard. does. How can you get me in focus with, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not knocking anybody, but this is a cross-section of society. My, look, at the, look at the group here. Let me set this up, Kreskin. Right. Kreskin 
Munchkin contacted us a couple of weeks ago. He said, I can do the most amazing Halloween stunt. Call it what you want. I don't care what it is. He says, bring in. I don't care who you bring in. And I swear to you out there, Robin, you can attest to this. We randomly got people. We went up to Harlem to a methadone clinic. We went to places we didn't To a methadone clinic. That's right. To a meth. You didn't tell me this. (laughs) We wanted people you had never met before. Yeah. (laughs) Right off the street. You're you're from the methadone clinic? No, I'm the crackhead. Right. Right. You are on crack? I am on crack. You are. The king of smoke. You are the king of smoke. That's right. You got me, and this is no fraud. Yes. Okay. If you can stay, if Kennedy can make this guy here, yep. Kreskin can make me do I'll stop smoking. Now, Kreskin, you tell us that you, the only thing Kreskin did beforehand was he looked over the people. Yeah, that's right. You believe there are four to five people in this room who can contact Sam Kennison for us. Well... Just to say one sentence because of a call you got. I'm not. I have no psychic powers. Right. No you never said. I don't know how you do it. People calling me a fake. It's. A, I, I. I've been honest. The only thing I claim to do is read people's thoughts. But this, as far as communicating, I don't know if anybody can communicate. But I think that we can tap into people's unconscious and get an idea of the same thing these channelers do on TV. I. I turned five people today into channelers, and some people say it takes 20 years to become a channeler. Okay. Now here's what we're going to do. Now you, let me. Let me. Let me. Let me, right, let me okay. set this up. Oh, I'm sorry. We are going to walk over with Kreskin, Robin. We each uh-huh. have wireless We're microphones. Get into our, uh, We're going to walk around. Let me unit. let me introduce some of the people in the okay. room aside from the crack guy. Uh, where's the girl from Scores? Which one is from Scores? Right over there. You're a dancer at Scores? Yes. Okay, you've never met Kreskin before in your life? No, I've okay. never met Kreskin. All right, who is this woman right here? What's your name? Jamie. Jamie, what do you do? Hairdresser. Have you? Oh, you're the hairdresser with the implants? Yeah. Check those out. Nice job. Uh, and uh, you've never met Kreskin before, right? No, no I don't know. All people. right. Uh, let me let me talk to this gentleman right here, sir. Have you? Where are you from? My name is Tony from Long Island. You're from Long Island. You weren't over at the Methadone Clinic, were you? No. You were not. How did from we find hometown. you? You're from my hometown, Roosevelt. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Word up. Peace. Peace How out. Did we find you? How did we find you? Where Where did we get you from? I was about to go to work. Oh, you were up there in Harlem? Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble too. Uh-huh. No. You're not in trouble. Not if Sam Kinison enters your body. Uh, so you've never met... the only one that I've met before. This guy here... Oh, Gary, yeah, all right. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Don't hit him. I got you, work. You have never met Kreskin oh, before, right? No, I did. Never. You did not. Okay, talk to... Uh, well, who's this woman over here, the blonde? Good-looking woman. You're the one who was crying you're going to miss work? I miss my midterm. What Whoa. midterm is that? Sociology? Oh, my sociology be. midterm. Have you ever met Kreskin before? No. Have you ever met Kreskin's mother? No. No, okay. Okay. Nobody's been. Nobody, Nobody has. <laughs> and uh, keep going. Kreskin, come back. Get back here, Michael back. Jackson. You're dressed as Michael Jackson. Have you ever met Kreskin before? <laughs> right, he's got a mask on. <laughs> what the? What the dilly All right. There's a lot of people in here. There's yeah. a woman back there. She was very vocal before. This woman with the brown jacket right in front of you, Gary. Where? Have you ever met Kreskin before? No. Where did we find you? <laughs> In the methadone clinic. In the methadone clinic? That's right. Today's my birthday, too. How old are you now? 32. 32? You look like you're 15. She's a heroin addict? You are a heroin addict? Yes. You are? How did that happen that you got on the heroin? Some friends involved with a group of friends. Yeah, how is heroin? Any good? Yeah. You like it a lot. It's, you've pretty much devoted your life to it, haven't you? Yes, uh, Kreskin, have you ever been on heroin? No. You have not? No. Some people, people have accused you of being on heroin. Need, <laughs> or on speed or something. I don't need any chemicals for the How way long I was she on heroin? How long have you been on heroin? For about two and a half years. Really? And what about uh, the methadone? Now, how long have you been on that? A year. A year. And what do you do? You line up every morning at 6 to get methadone? Before 6 o'clock. Really? Yes. Well, that stuff must be good if you're lining up that early. That's right. That's right. What do you say, sir? You agree? Right yeah, here. Yeah, I do agree. You do agree that is good. <laughs> yes. It is good. Okay. Uh-huh. It deadens like the it. pain? No, somewhat. It does. For a minute or two. Well, is it mostly the pain from the white man and uh, uh, sub- subjugating you to his rules? <laughs> if you want to say so. Yes. Please. I, came from your mouth. Hey, come on. I'm trying to rap to my brother here. He might have been a lot of pain over Any it. Any excuse will do. Yeah, I'll go with that. Here's a gentleman who wants to say something. What is it? Yeah, I want to say that uh, I used to shoot like five, to, you know, five to ten bags of dope a day for about four years. Wow. And that uh, this is turning into a quite a different show, yeah, isn't it, Kreskin? Hey, 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 <laughs> Kreskin's I'm, like, I've been clean off show. all drugs and alcohol now for three and a half years. And if any of these people, right. really, right on, right on. hallelujah. Right on. Hey, this is like a uh, an AA meeting. It wasn't any no methadone, nothing like that, man. Just stop, and I'll I'll, I'll be happy to talk to all you guys after this. Me- after this, you know. After beautiful, this, uh, wow. beautiful. You know, after this seance, all right. Up, man, you know? I can guarantee you, Kreskin's never met any of these people in advance. I'll carry a message to you guys. Uh, this is going to be a happy ending. Yeah, what is it, sir? Go ahead, let him say something. Go ahead, say something. 
Hello. Um, uh -oh. I know we're on national television. That is correct. But uh, I want to um, speak about one thing. Go ahead. Okay, the incident that happened um, day before yesterday. Go ahead. About the Bloods and the Crips. Go ahead. On 118th Street. Yes, sir. We had nothing to do with it. You had nothing. Are you in the Bloods or the Crips? Which one are you? I don't think he's even either. No comment. He's either. No comment. Robin, I don't think he's here. No, I'm only kidding. Hey, Kinnison left the room. He's scared of everybody. All right, Kreskin. Here's the point. There's a beautiful blonde girl back there. What, what's her story? What do you what, do? You know Kreskin? Hi, Howard. Hi. Hi, what I'm are you? Natalie. Ma Natalie, what yes. do you do for a living? Um, I'm almost finished nursing school. Six more months. Oh. Man, imagine that's your nurse, Kreskin. She can treat me. You can treat me <laughs> anytime. I don't know her, but I'll tell you one thing. I know her now. She's beautiful. And I'll tell you something. Anybody with handcuffs can do anything to me. Yeah, we know that. You kinky bastard. Uh, what about this woman in the in the red jacket? Very vocal woman. What, what are you from? I'm from the methadone program. You're from methadone program yes. too. You're in heroin. They found me over there. And Kreskin chose you as well, huh? A hundred and ten. <laughs> and uh, how long you been on the methadone? Uh, uh, one year and a half. One year and a half. Congratulations. <laughs> when did she start <laughs> taking heroin? <laughs> when did you start taking heroin? Oh my God, years back. Years wow. back. All right. Well, yeah. Kreskin, you can see wow. it's a room full of problems. It's a room no, full of problems. She said she started taking heroin in 1960. I, I think you and Robin have to understand something. I'm an entertainer. I'm not a healer, but we'll try. <laughs> All right, listen, Kreskin, let me set this up now. All We've right, determined right. that none of these people knew you in advance. No, I chose anybody. all of them. Robin, you saw it as well. That's yeah. right. I don't think he could have gotten to any of these people. Kreskin now says for our Halloween show, and let, me, let me get this right. Robin and I will walk around with our wireless microphones with you. As we walk through the room, things might start happening. You cannot guarantee what will happen. I don't know for sure what's going to happen. These tables were provided by us. They're you had no access tables. to them. These yeah. are bridge tables. You're and saying they were just brought in by our crew, so he couldn't have done anything to them. No. These tables could start floating and everything. You don't yeah. know what will happen. They're not going to flip, but they're going to. They're, something's going to happen. That's going to. That, that's going to be created by the energy of these people. And the I am anxious to get line. started. And then let's you will take these people, and some of them will channel Sam yeah, Kinison, and we can we'll talk that. to them. The table thing. And None I, of this has been set up. That's no. what I want to repeat. Let's try this experiment. Okay, can, right. can you folks join me? Can I talk to them while you're coming over here? Yes, you can. Folks, listen. No matter what happens, don't panic. Stay with the table. Uh, even if it, if if the position is uncomfortable, you've got to keep four hands. Your your actually your eight hands on the table, two of two each and so forth. He hasn't turned them on. No, my, my headphones are, are your headphones intermittent? Mine are. Yeah, I can barely hear, but go ahead. All right, maybe I can hear. Go ahead. One, the one, the only thing, Howard, I'm going to ask, the only thing I'm going to ask is that Robin, uh, Howard, and I, we're not going to touch the tables, but listen to me, folks. Just a moment. If something starts to happen, you're going to stand up because we're going to pull the chairs from you and get them out of the way here and just stay with the tables, okay? Uh, now, here's what we'll, here's what we'll begin. It'll only take me 30 seconds. You join hands the way you saw in seances. Just join hands. Make sure the same person's across from you that you saw before and join your hands, put them in, around each other. Everybody join hands. Okay, put your hands around each other. So they're, 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 come on, do it now. Now, listen to me. The old years ago, people found that if they had a seance, the table might wrap once. If it wrapped once, it was no. If it wrapped twice, it was uh, yes. So that's where you get the term table talking. These tables are going to come to life. As soon as you start feeling a reaction, call me. Call Howard and me. It's only going to take a few seconds. Just just concentrate on the tables. And Howard, what's happening, you, you know, we've seen in the old, the old darn movies where people sat around tables they held hands. Preston, I'm seeing that table starting to move, actually. Yeah, yeah, it is I actually am starting to see yeah. that move a call little bit. It's starting to wobble. Call me, folks. Yeah. It's happening. Over. It's over happening here. Okay. Here it is. Stand up. Stand up. We'll get chair. Stand up. Stand up. Stand, stand, up. Up. stand up. Stand up with the table. Yeah, this is starting to move. Look at Howard over here. Over here. They're starting to go like crazy. Ah. All the tables are moving, I swear to God. Hey, you are They're not all moving. They're all moving. Oh. They're all moving. Oh. Stand up. They're not doing this. No, no, no. I don't know what's going on, Preston. Are you touch? Are you making the table move? No. Starting to move, I swear to God. They are shaking. You'll see it on the E show tonight. Stand up if it's moving. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here goes the tip. Here it goes. Whoa. Whoa. One table collapsed behind you, Robin. Put it back together and try and get your hands back. By the way, you did not push that. Are you doing that? Are you guys doing that? No. Over here, oh, this table's falling. Oh, oh my God. God, this table is collapsing, Kreskin. Look at that. You guys, look at that. It's You'll see it on the E show tonight. I swear it's really happening. Some people fell down. Some people fell down. Are you guys all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Stand up. Stand up. Get the table together. Get me out of here. 
Hey, are you okay? He's scared. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. You okay? Yeah. He's Listen, fine. Folks, all of you, take one hand off the table. Watch how quickly they stop. Can you believe it? Take one hand off the table. One hand. Howard. Howard. I, hey, this guy got shook up. That's all right. What do you think of that? His brother just, his brother just died. He felt he, he felt he tapped into his brother. Yeah. What happened, sir? He's his brother, Pat. His he says how his long goes your brother? Get the fuck out of here. No, wait, wait, wait. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Okay. All right, he's leaving. He's leaving. All right, that's okay. All right, he doesn't like it. Okay, man. Deep set. You guys believe what just happened? You're right, my man. What's man? What's wrong with that dog? They're playing games, man. Why? Why you getting this thing on set? Robert, did you just see that? Please look at that. What kind of games do you think they're playing on you? Oh man, they bring it back to dead people, man. You felt your brother? Yeah. I felt my brother. I was about to spit. Say, go through me, man. Did he say anything? Fuck your muscles, nigga. Did he say anything? Did he fall on the floor? I never seen anything like it. I'm not kidding. This is not set up. Wow. Like that, man. Look at me, man. You know any of these people? Wow, here's another table collapse. Oh, hey. Someone, you guys here's another table collapse. Right. Now get the tables together. Now I want to show you something. That was scary. Right. Can we come? Can we, folks? Wow. Amazing. I'm not going to smoke no more. Have you, you ever seen anything like this? Never in my life. Unbelievable. Can we get okay. another table? I'm going to take off. Can we, can we you guys believe what just happened? I had a vision of blaze. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Now, wait, Howard. All right, go ahead. I want to show you. I want to show you. Uh, believe me. I'm not kidding you. This is not rigged. This is not a trick. Wow. You got, can I, can I, Robin, did you just see that? Yes. Can I, what do you think of that? This guy back here, the crack guy, he said, this is a good drug. This is a new drug. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> one guy one guy had to leave. He got so upset. Yeah. I'm from 110. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> you know don't, anyone, don't join hands, folks, just yet. All right. Can well, I ask right, you, folks, and let how, none of you are pushing this table. No, in any way. I don't even know these now, people. i got to show you something very strange. <laughs> uh, you're going to put your hands around it. Put your hands around it. You think it went well before. Try to keep it as still as you can. Watch how wild this goes. All right, go ahead. Anything. Watch this. The table's moving. The table's moving. That, that table's gonna flip. It's almost, look at this. Look at that. Wow. It's just collapsing. You're not moving. You guys are not doing anything? My wrists are moving. Yeah, yeah, that, wow. Guys, join your hands again. Join your hands around the table again. Yeah, A Kreskin. Whoa. Table just fell down. Table just fell down. Look at it. You guys, but, seriously, you guys believe this? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Oh, yeah. Don't hit me with that. Whoa. <laughs> Some woman just beat me with a stick. Vibrate. Yeah. Kreskin? You're not doing this deliberately. No. no. No, not at all. What? No, over here. It's about to go. Good. Take this hand away. Take this hand away. What hand? Look at this. Wow, and it stops. Oh. Now put your hands around. Why is it hot? Your, is it hot? Yes, feel, I feel, feel very hot. No, I know. All right, that's a reaction. I just feel, I just feel like my blood is like flowing. Yeah, yeah, because your unconscious mind is such, such, a, such a dynamic reaction. Oh, Isn't that amazing? This is something. All right, stop for a minute then. Wait, yeah. What's wrong with this table? Then? It, 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 it's, it's, this table is I, moving. I think it died. It's just slightly dead. But I'm right. but Look at the table over there moving. Look at this. Come over no. here. Come over here. Every table in this room has collapsed and fallen on the floor. I've never seen anything like it. Look, I'm not kidding you. I swear to God, this is not set up. Hey, guys. What? Is this amazing? Yes, it's amazing. Uh, do you know any of these people? No. What kind of I don't. Listen to this, guys. I'm going to spell my name. Just listen to this. You think that's alive now? Watch yes. my spell my name. All right, wait a minute. K-R-E-S-K-I-N. Watch how wild that is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> table is going nuts. Did you, do you know, you know any of these people? <laughs> Jake, oh, no, I don't know. Oh, God. You're not. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. It's really moving. Gary, what do you make of this? I don't know what to make of it. That girl, the squirrel girl says it's pushing, it's, it's pumping on her chest. Pumping on her chest? That's what she said. I gotta get new implants. Do you believe it? Yes. I mean, what, what do you, what do you make of that? Oh, my gosh. It. I can't believe it. It's hard to believe. Look at this. Hey, look at this table. This table is missing a leg and it's going up in the air. Stand up. Stand up. What are you thinking? I'm thinking this. Are you forcing that in any way? No. Try to keep that still. They can't. It's unbelievable what's going on. That's going to go over. Can't wait till we talk to Sam. I got, I'm feeling very hopeful. Kreskin, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I'm not kidding you. I don't know how he does it. I don't understand this either. Kreskin. Look at it go. Robin, are you watching this table? It's, I am, of course. It's almost, it's, it's almost walking. Spell your name. Whoa, it stopped. You believe it? I don't believe wait it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's pretty amazing. How does it feel when that's happening? Oh. I'm just 
I'm going to be reborn possessed. tomorrow. It's possessed. Like, it's possessed. I, I, like, I mean, did you feel something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, Preskin, now can we talk to I Sam Tennyson? Feel my vibrations. Oh, yeah? Folks. Yeah? Folks, we've got to stop the table. Wow. Hey, I'll tell you what. Maybe I should take a break. Yeah. And then we'll, uh, you're saying that one, five of these people could actually yeah. talk to Sam. All right, we're going to wow. do that right after these words. Thanks, everybody. So how was that seance? Wild. Going to church tomorrow. <laughs> Did you feel anything strange? Oh yeah. What did you feel? I felt a tremble through my body. Yeah. Was it worth it? Definitely. So what was your experience like in there? Oh my god, it's simply incredible. It went right through my chest and everything. <laughs> what did you think of the experience in there? It was weird. I'm going to tell you, I... We have been talking in the commercials, me and Robin and the whole gang. I'm going to tell you something, Kreskin. I'm not your flack. I'm not a guy who uh, is, is your PR man. This is airing tonight on the E! Show. What just happened in this room... It was amazing. Let me ask you something, Robin. You're pretty cynical. Kreskin, we had a camera on him the whole time before. He wasn't he, touching anybody. He anymore. wasn't touching anybody. He, he wasn't, wasn't hypnotizing anybody. No. I'm telling you, every bridge table in this room was flying Fly. to the floor. One guy had to be taken out because, in fact, he's willing to come back on the air. It he's calmed down now. For him. He said his brother died a month ago. He flipped out, he said. It was unbelievable. He just what? had to leave the room. One gal, Howard, that told us that her arms got red hot. Yeah. Yeah, here's the guy. Are you okay now? How you doing? All right? Hey, 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 Howard, I don't understand this, man. Isn't it My wild? My brother just died. Your brother died a month ago, right? Yeah. Right. He died of the AIDS virus. Oh, right. And, you know, and y'all doing this seance on Halloween. Isn't that something? And I felt this something cold go through me, man. Really? Right. And I don't I understand. I saw you. You had to, you had to walk out of the is. room. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Kreskin, what happened to this guy? And I don't even watch this channel. No. Right. Oh, you Cable. better start. No, no. What you know happened? what I'm saying? What happened? Tell me what happened to me. Because I'm ready to do you something. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than it's better than it's better than crack. I'll tell you that. Yeah, go ahead. Do crack. I'm an alcoholic. Wait a minute. Right. He's unbuttoning his don't shirt. Unbutton, don't unbutton your shirt. No, 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 no. Hey, listen. But seriously, he's ready to fight. It's, 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 it's a phenomenon. I don't yeah, it, understand but in but life, you, man. But look at listen. It, it, he's it asking. Me. It, he's asking in such an intelligent way because he said it's a phenomenon. What you know what happened? You've lost someone. There's a when you lose That's someone. There's a great emotional tie. People have seen visions of people they've lost, brothers and sisters and with that something as dramatic as this if anyone wants to know how I did this I'll tell you now and I'll tell you very and I will tell you honestly I tapped into the unconscious mind of everyone that was involved energy came forth some of these people in fact a lot of the people in here are unconscious how I'll be honest with you uh, yeah. and not only that I, I believe I really do believe in what in uh <laughs> talking, talking, talking to the, to the dead. dead well, really? Well, I, I don't. I really do, man. Yeah, I'm a I Christian. You. Well, and I tell you what. I tell you what. You I go believe that people got powers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but to listen to me. But I don't want you to think that that's. Self, I don't want you to mislead. And it scares me. Yeah. No, no, and I don't, don't like be scared. That. And when you come outside, I might see you. No, no, no. Don't no, be scared. No, no, don't be no, no, scared. No. Kreskin didn't listen, do anything bad something. to you. Kreskin didn't do anything bad to you. It really hurt me, man. Hey, hello, 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 sir. What's your name? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. You're all right. You're all right. You're, you're hey, let him go outside and take take a yeah. seat. Let him rest up. Rest up. Give him something to eat. Give him, him something to eat. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, hey, Kreskin, yeah. there's yeah. powerful yeah. forces in the room. Yeah. Howard, we're going to put him on, like, 51st Street. Yeah. i got to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you something. Blindfold him. Yeah. You, you know, the funny thing about life is contradictions. If someone says they talk to God, they're praying. But if they say they hear from God, they're insane. Right. I mean, there's, there's crazy. I, I, I don't... I don't Kreskin, I, let me just tell you something. What is... Kreskin talked about. I, don't, I think I think Kreskin needs a drink. Please. All right, Kreskin. Now will I be able to speak to Sam Kinison? This this will be amazing now if you pull this off. Let's put do. it this way, Howard. I'm not yeah. a spiritualist. I make no claims, but I'm going to turn these people into channelers. And guys, uh, you, you, you're going to have to put the microphone if you're holding a mic in the other hand, and you don't have a mic. Can I take this from you right now? Just put it down, uh, guys. Let me let me just ask you something. Hold your hand. Look at me right now, all of you guys. Hold your hand. Turn around. And look at Kreskin. Now mediums are supposed to go into trances, and I haven't put anybody into a trance so far. I want you to kind of face uh, uh, straight ahead now. Look at your hand. I'm not going to say anything, but if you were in a medium, 
or supposedly a channeler, uh, the, the right hand, it's supposedly a channeler, and in just about 10, 20 seconds, your hand would be rising towards your forehead and touching your forehead. In fact, if you look at it now, it's coming right there now. Now, that tells me, that's through your unconscious mind, that we're going to channel and we're going to get a hold of Sam Kennison. Remember, Sam Kennison believed that if you thought bad thoughts and said them out loud, they would come true. So we're not going to use any four-letter words, even though in a few seconds, your hand, I'm going to count to 10, your hand's going to come all the way to your forehead. As soon as it touches your forehead, just let it come all by itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, look at how the hands are coming. Eight, nine, ten. And the hand, as it touches your forehead, you're going to contact either your right or left hand. You're going to be able to be the direct a sprint line or telephone line or bell telephone line with Sam Kennison. You can hear Howard. Uh, you can hear Howard as soon as your hand touches your face. I see a gentleman in the hood. Yeah, yeah he touches was your the face first right to go. here. In fact, you know what? If I touch your neck, you may almost sometimes find yourself speaking like Kennison, which could be wild. Yay! Yeah, yeah, it just could. It just. Oh, oh, oh! 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 Now, no, no, listen to what me. Happened, you're, Howard? You're, you're gonna, now listen to me. Your eyes are closed. You, as long as your eyes are closed, you're tuning into Sam Kennison, and you're going to answer. When if Howard addresses you, I'll touch your, the, I'll touch your hand so you know he's talking to you. Okay. You tell me, Howard. Uh, the first question I want to ask is, uh, Sam. Where are you, heaven or hell? Which which hand? Uh, this gentleman right here. Right over here. Yeah. Uh, you can speak. What is Sam? Do you tell me this? Do you hear Sam Kennison talking to you now? Answer me. Do you hear him talking to you? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what is he saying to you? What? Is, where are you, heaven or hell? I'm in hell, man. What? You're in hell. I'm in hell, like? brother. What is it like? Describe it. Oh, it's hot down here. It's hot. It's hot. All right. And uh, are there any women down there? Oh yeah. There are. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! When when you died in the car accident. <laughs> Do you do you uh, blame the uh, the uh, driver who hit you, or do you blame yourself? I blame myself, man. You do? Why? What? Oh man, I don't know. I just blame it on myself, man. Uh huh. And who do you miss the most on this planet? Is, is it your wife? Hell no. Who do you miss? Drugs. You do miss drugs. Yeah. You oh, do. Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. Let's try. I want to try something. I, his eyes are going to open when I take his hand away. His eyes are going to open when I take his hands away. Uh, open your, uh, what's your name, by the way? What's your, what's your name, sir? My name's Tyrone. What, what did you just do? Do you remember what you just did? Do you remember? No. Wow. What's the last thing you remember? Sitting here in front of a microphone. Right. You weren't, you weren't talking about Sam Kennison to, to Howard, were you in any way, shape, or form? No. No. All right. That fascinating. Yes. Let me try the next guy, Robin. You have a question for Sam? Yes. Ask Sam how he feels about his wife remarrying. All right. Uh, they didn't hear. I better break it. Okay. Let me talk to this gentleman. Listen, uh, sir, Sam. How do you feel about your wife Malika remarrying? She's a bitch. She's a bitch. <laughs> oh, she's a bitch. She shouldn't have married. Really? Uh, do you want her to divorce this guy? Yes. Yes. She's mine. Oh, she's mine. Wow. Uh, let me try. Uh, Howard, let me try. Yes. <laughs> this is going to break it right now. His eyes are going to open. Uh, uh, his eyes. Yeah. Can I ask you? Uh, I, what's your name, by the way? Chris. Yeah. When's the last time you talked about Sam Kennison to anybody? How long ago? <sighs> Maybe about three days ago. You haven't spoken about him or his wife or anything else to anybody, right? No. Isn't that fascinating? That is fascinating. They're not, this is no game. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Unbelievable. What's the next question? Um, it's going to go back to your head. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> have you seen Dice's new TV? All right, okay, okay. I wonder how they feel about uh, Ellen DeGeneres and her teacher in television. All right, we'll, we'll ask him a bunch of questions. Yeah, okay, let's go to uh, let's go to this gentleman uh, the all the way at the end. Back? The one the one who has right, the D. Snyder wig on. Hand oh, that one. Okay, fine. Uh, you have yeah. to touch him on the hand. On the okay. hand. Are you here, my voice, you hear Howard speaking to you now. You're a channeler. I've trained you to become what was called a medium. Howard, go ahead. You can Sam, can you hear me? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that good Howard! Okay, listen to me, Sam. How do you feel about Andrew Dice Clay? Oh, he was over before he started. You right. know that. You could have predicted his demise? Oh, forget about it. I'm the... I'm, I'm the leading show master down here in hell, by the way. I've been selling out every night in a row. <laughs> Let me ask you this. How do you feel about Ellen DeGeneres and, the, and her being able to kiss women and do lesbianism? Were you aware of any of this? Well, she let it out of the bag, but, you know, a lot of people suspect it for a long time. She never had a man for a date in the longest, you know. Have you seen Lady Di? Is she in hell with you? 
She's in limbo stage right now. They don't know which which way to send her up or down. Right. Really? Really? No matter what she does. But do you think she will go to hell? Uh, I'd love to see her. I mean, you know, a couple of those dresses will really go crazy down here. Really? And yeah. what about uh, Richard Nixon? Is he in hell? He's been here for the longest. Really? Uh, Who will die next? Oh, wait, wait, okay. All right. Wait, his hand is off his head now. Creskin. One more guy. I, I, I want to... His head goes back to his head. It's amazing, Robin. Wow. How is he doing this? I don't know. I've tapped his... And by the way, all you guys that have your, your hands against your forehead... Try to take your hands from your forehead. Try as hard as you possibly try with every muscle in your body to take your hands from your forehead. And yet, and yet, if I touch them, look at how they come to life almost as Kenneth. Look at this. Look, wow. Look at the reaction. Hang on with the screen with the sounds and everything else. And oh! Howard! All right, eyes. Closed. Howard, don't feel sorry for me down here, Howard. Why? Because I'm having a great time, by the way. Are you having a lot of sex? Oh, yeah, you know it, baby. Who's, who's down there with you? Who's your best friend in hell? My best friend? Yeah. I don't have any friends. I never had any friends. I piss them all off. You know that. Right. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's like I've been not doing I was on Earth. You know me. My friend over there is a cop. He's saying to me, I don't get how he's doing this. What's to do? This is natural stuff for me. It's unbelievable. He's standing over there. He goes, I can't believe the tables were flying around the room. I can communicate with you guys. Otherwise, this, I had a lot of other things to Sam do. This guy thinks he's Sam, and he's in the show. Sam, uh, is the devil a good guy? He's, uh, I'm getting to like the guy. Hey, Joe, do you I, do you have any idea how he's doing this? This is unbelievable. I'm the biggest skeptic in the world, and I'll tell you what. I'm a now, skeptic. who's doing what? Were the tables flying around the room or what? They're definitely flying around the room. The chairs, the tables, they tables are broken. What tables? tables absolutely broken. nuts. One of our tables is broken. What tables? What the hell are you talking guys? about? It's pretty amazing. You've got them all sitting here with their eyes closed and their hands on their foreheads thinking they're Sam. Yeah, check out the E! Show tonight. I, I Please check this out. You will not believe it. Well, there's it. only one. You're it. You're it, huh, Sam? For now. Sam, is there a message you want to give the world now that, you could, that you've been liberated? Yeah, live your life as best as you can while you're upstairs. And stay, try to stay out of the drugs and all the natural. You know, go natural if you can. There's plenty of time for that downstairs if you get down here. There you go. That There's a the message from... That is advice I've ever heard in my life, damn it. He makes more sense than you do, Kreskin. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Kreskin, what about this gentleman over here? With, with, he, he, uh, he has not been tapped yet. This one beh right beside you. Besides Michael right Jackson. No, no, this oh, guy. Be, 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 yeah, this guy here. Uh, it'll be interesting to if he comes more live. Ah! 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 I want a 13 year old. Oriental midget nymphomania. No, he's not. He's uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what did he say? He, he wanted a 13-year-old oriental midget. And you don't think that's Sam? No. I love you, Lauren. Thank God. Yeah, he's not out. Uh, uh, I don't know. No, no, no. You know, I mean, even uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Cal no spikes you know, into his I, head. My career has taken a, a quite an interesting <laughs> Kreskin, you've done an incredible. What about the Michael Jackson guy? He didn't touch him. Oh, we're the Michael yeah, Jackson guy. Go ahead. Guy. Go ahead, Michael Jackson guy. Here we go. Scared to touch him. What do you want to ask him? What do you want to ask him? What do I want to ask him? Him. I, you know, geez, I, 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 Ooh, we didn't really think we'd talk to Sam. It turns out that uh, Sam, I have nothing to say to Sam. Money. How about uh, with Sam? Can I ask you this? Uh, how, how are we curious? What do you think the future is of? I'm not. We're not fortune tellers. What do you think the future is of Michael Jackson? I mean, you have a you can tap a higher source of knowledge. What is the future of, of uh, Michael Jackson? Go ahead, Sam. Oh, I don't believe this. I'm relaying my message through Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. Let me ask him this. Oh, Lord. Why did you not leave your wife or family any money, Sam? Do you feel guilty about that? No. You don't? No. Why? It's my money. They don't deserve it. Do you want to apologize to anyone? Well, I apologize to all the people that I've offended, but I just tried to make people laugh, just like you, Howard. Right. And he was a genius, Howard. Was a genius. You were a genius, Sam. And I, I thank you, Howard, for remembering me and keeping my memory alive on your show. And Sam, thanks for joining us for Halloween. Thank you. Let's ah! Wow, it's an amazing hey, day. Howard, let's see what happens when their eyes open. And you're gonna think they're gonna think we're crazy when we ask them what they talked about. It. Uh, to move his hand slow, not fast, slow. And his hand slowly. Don't do it suddenly. I want I don't want to transition to to be a sudden jolt to him. Okay. Uh, 
There Here's they go. Eyes. Guys, uh, open your eyes. Um, guys. You want to talk to him over here? I'm not, uh, Howard, I don't, I don't know these folks. Honestly, I don't know them. We know you don't because we, yeah, we yeah. selected all these people. We got them from all over the place. Over here. So do you guys know what just happened? Do you guys know what happened to you? I don't think, I think he's when are you going to start this thing? Huh? What did so you say? When are you going to start this thing? Uh, start, well. Well, we've actually completed it, believe it what? or not. Yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, if I told you, how many minutes do you think you've been up here? A couple of minutes or two or two? How many would you say you've been up here? So, I don't know. How many minutes do you think you've been up here? How, how long do you two think minutes. you Two minutes? Would you believe maybe uh, 25 minutes? Yeah. You guys have been gone for about 25, 25 minutes. minutes. Oh, I looked at the yeah. clock. It was 10 to 9. Right. Yeah. I can't believe it's it's 5 after 9 right now. The last thing you remember is 10 to 9. I can't believe it. Yeah, well, you were uh, talking as Sam Kinison for quite some time. You should, I can get my voice up that high. You did, and you should watch the uh, e-show tonight. You'll yeah, see yourself doing it. Yeah, wait till you see what you did. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Five of you, while, while they were Sam Kennedy, I might as well tell you guys this. You agreed to have sex with Fred, so oh, yeah. you can all line up for that. Howard, Hang it. Hang it. Howard, I'm Howard. going uptown to get high. You <laughs> gotta go get high? I, yeah. Oh, yes. I get with this I guy? Howard, I need to do miracles, go. but that's impossible. Right. All right, Kreskin, the amazing Kreskin for <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. You, you live at the goods. Watch him on E tonight. It really, it really was amazing. He did a great job. What I have done as a mentalist is I have, through the power of thought, ideas that I've transmitted, tapped into the minds of all these people and caused them to produce phenomena that they didn't think were possible. Whether it was channeling, these guys are as good as any channelers I've ever seen on these so-called psychic shows. And the table thing, mm -hmm. that could happen to almost anybody watching me right now if I had them in front of me. Well, for me, it was a great experience because um. Like I said again, I'm on crack, and um, this was amazing. It really was amazing for me to come all the way down here, to take time out from not hitting my stem. Those are my friends that will see me on the e-channel, that is. When they see this, they're going to say, this was for real. They will really say it's for real. For me to get to come downtown to Midtown, wherever I'm at, they're going to say it was something else for him to get here. Cool. Great. I get interrupt Great. That, that's one of the most moving. Uh, I've, had, I've had crazy things happen in my life. I once on a stage had a woman, uh, you saw how they raised their hands to her forehead. She raised her hand and about 20 people in the audience started screaming in this theater. And I said, what, what happened? Her hand had been paralyzed for a number of years. Oh, and obviously it was an emotional thing and we were able to correct it. Things like this really get to me. I mean, it's, wow. it's not, I'm not a healer, but it's uh -huh. nice to have something. Like okay. It was a great learning experience. Um, it was a little upsetting. There were too, too many women uh, distracting me. I'm sure that I'd have done a better job if I could have concentrated more. But uh, once I got put under, I don't remember anything. It was mind-blowing. It was as if I was really numb, but there was so much electricity shooting toward, you know, through me. And the more we were trying to stop those tables, the more they kept <laughs> bouncing around. And for all the people back home, it's for real. It's just, right. This is no joke. This is still feel a little numb from it all. So anyway, you got to hear this, okay? Uh -huh. So after Kreskin's in here, and you know, look, I mean, I'm a rational guy. I think people know that. I know the dead are not being contacted. Let's set, this, set that up right away. I'm saying whatever went on in here was truly amazing. I'll give you the facts the way I see them. Bridge tables. Flimsy little stupid table. That you know we brought in the other That's day. That's right, and they weren't rigged right. to anything. No, we, we, we hauled them in right before Kreskin came in. He sat some people down around these bridge tables. They all touched hands. And I'm going to tell you, this yeah. was the kind of group, I didn't even think they were going to understand the instructions. Yeah, I, that's, I was amazed. <laughs> and really, the tables were flying. You'll see it on E tonight. I can't make that up. And then when he put those four guys or, or seven guys over there, I said, you know, if it's hypnotism, how come every hypnotist I bring in here, and I'm saying it probably was hypnotism, I don't know, I'm guessing now. If it's hypnotism, how come every hypnotist I bring in here needs 15, 20 minutes alone with people? Kreskin I didn't, don't know. Kreskin and it wasn't, only works with a small percentage. Right, so listen to this. So I go, boy, that was an amazing segment. One of the best things we've ever done is gonna look great on TV. So the producer, the executive producer of the E-Show, Scott Einziger, walks in and I go, how did that look for TV? How was it great or what? He goes, well, Look, you're asking the wrong guy. I know how he does it. So I, said, I said, oh, I said, oh, oh how cool. How does he do it? Right. So I said, great. I go, how do you know? What are you? Do you know magic or something? Do you know? Do you know how a guy puts he it together? He can do this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So listen to this. So Einziger comes in and he goes, well, I was out in the hall with him, and uh, let me tell you something. I saw him. S tell Robin what you told me. You, you got to hear this. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, that? go yeah. ahead. This is the most absurd yeah, thing. He goes, I'll tell you what he said. Okay. It'll take him an hour. <laughs> he says to me. 
Well, you know, it's the power of suggestion. He eliminated some people and kept some in. And then when he told them to uh, shake the table, or when he said the table should have taken, if they didn't shake it, they felt like they wouldn't be allowed in. I go, let me get this straight, uh, Scott. Uh, so let me see you do that then. If that's how he does I'm it. I'm telling you. you that, dude, had, you don't know anything. I'm, I'm, Those people sitting here were in already. Dude, They I'm don't have to put I'm on a show. You, first of all, the, what is their the motive? The people on the street... They, they were dying to get upstairs, first of all. Right. Secondly, so you get 30 people up here. He has them all in the hallway, and he's saying, okay, we've got to go through this. And he's going, you feel the table shake? You feel the table shake? And he's like, up, up, up. Oh, you're out of here. There, this guy, uh, okay, I'm going to ask you to leave. Oh. Quickly, go out, go out here. Please leave. Pass. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Out of here. Out of here. Get, get somebody else in this place, please. Yeah, so what if he gets yeah, 100 and people goes, and all of them don't the feel the table? And the goes, Kraskin, over here. And they start shaking the table. That one is going wild. Okay, you stay with it because it may flip over. Stay with it. Stay with it. You are number one. There, you guys there, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. But even if that's true, they get in here, they're with me, we're all into the experiment. Full of the oh, oh, of the show. Uh, you, listen, oh, you know what so this is like? I'm telling you. So listen, yes. to yeah, right. listen to this. Listen to this. I once read a book about a guy who exposed magic tricks and stuff. Yeah. Fine. I'm saying, let's say Kreskin does it that way. Boy, Fine. he's leaving a lot to chance. I'm, I'm reading a book about... Um, Magic, and they said we'll teach you how to do everything Kreskin does. Kreskin does this amazing thing where he walks out into the audience and he can pick out one person who's holding an envelope in his back pocket. Uh -huh. Okay, has no contact with the audience ahead of time. Uh -huh. Nothing. Uh -huh. Guy says it's very easy how it's done. Kreskin, since he was a little kid, practiced walking through rooms and looking in people's eyes and sort of seeing that they were trying to conceal something. <laughs> I go, well, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, now, okay, now that I know that, you think I can do that? Yeah. No. That's what he's saying. He's a master. Oh, right, he's a so master. How did he he's do the master. Sam Kinnison I'll tell you how he did that All one, too. Right, now how, now how do you hypnotize him in two, in, it's not, in, without... Oh. It's not hypnosis. Here's what, what is it? what happened. He yeah. took the 30 people... Yeah. Or, no, no, I'm sorry, the 20 people that yeah. he narrowed down. Yeah. He put them in a group. Yeah. He did a hypnosis test, as any other hypnotist would do, with the hand. Listen to me. In a few seconds, uh, some of you are going to hear Sam Kinnison talking to you. You're actually going to hear him. You're going to hear him talking to you as clear as day. You're going to hear Sam Kinnison's voice as you stand there with your hand against your forehead. As soon as you hear his voice, put your hand over your forehead. So you're telling me he's yes. a master hypnotist yes, I who also gets people to please him by shaking tables. Yes. Okay. That is so absurd. And hey, Ralph, so absurd. Wait here, wait, wait, let Ralph say something. What if he didn't get any out of the 20? Wait, let Ralph out say Out of 20, the chances are you're oh. going to get, oh, I see. get one. He had to get one guy. He lucked out. Go ahead, Ralph. Five. Scott, what about that crackhead guy? He, he doesn't even know who Sam Kinison is. He's in a methadone clinic. He, have never, he has what no knowledge of it. What about the guy who went out, out of here crying? What about the guy who left here saying he was all shook up? And so he's, the guy's fragile. But his did, brother just Did you died. watch these people? Yeah. The one guy was had his hand on his head like wait this, and he was telling him to sleep. Wait a minute. He, he hypnotized them. When? Oh, then you do that. That's incredible. Just you're telling me that he has the magical power to look at me for a second and, and throw me into hypnosis. No, yeah. he has the ability to wean out of 20 wean. people, five right, people. Come here. Speaking of weans, what you're the ween. Uh, uh, all I'm saying is, <laughs> I know it's a. Tr I know he didn't channel Sam Kinison. I'm saying, how did he make those those tables? Were, were those tables flying? They were flying, and not only that, and nobody they were was so, they were picking no. them up. Okay, you want the answer to that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, do you want me to give this away? Give it away. Is it okay? Did he have a wire? Did he pay them? What did he do? God's gonna give away his act. I feel now, like right? I'm gonna ruin the whole team. Ruin show. it. Ruin it. Who cares? At at the end, when he got them all frenzied, he says, "Okay, it's gonna get ta it's gonna get crazy. The tables are gonna shake, and then the tables are gonna flip when I say right. my skin." So they were like, "Okay, great." So he just it was a cue. Okay. So they had their hands on top of the table. They weren't shaking. I saw their hands. Their Wait, hands were perfectly you have knees. still. People have legs. They were standing. They Let's were... ask him the question. Uh, not, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. When did he have time to give them this information? He had tw a half hour. No, no. Scott's the theory is this. He goes, when I say Kreskin, now the table will really go wild. K-R-E-S-K-I-N. The table collapsed. Right. They're standing up. Yeah. So Scott's saying they so badly want to please Kreskin. Yeah. They, just, they don't know. They don't know. About. And half of my methadone. Right. Yeah. What kind of explanation is that for a trick? I thought when, when Scott came in, when Scott came in and said to us, "Hey, I know how he did it." Uh -huh. So Jack and I look at each other. Goes, "Yeah, where did he okay. put the string? How did he do it?" Like uh -huh. he's going to completely give away the whole yeah. thing. So he goes, "You know what? 
he just gets these people to 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 uh, please him. I went, what? We goes, thought yeah. he, we thought he, he forces say, them to please. Him. You know, we Scott, thought he was going to yeah. say that he uh, that Chris can contact. Yeah. You know and Scott goes, gee, it's Kreskin... easy for me. You know, it's not such a great thing because I know we get it. Why wouldn't yeah, Kreskin... Because he's smarter than the rest of us. Wait yeah, right. Minute. Why wouldn't he be making people do a lot more incredible things? Oh please, Robin, Robin, that was if an incredible that, stunt. Think what you want. I know what I Your explanation is so weak. Fine. That's ridiculous. Fine. Scott, Scott. Watch Scott the E-Show tonight. That's like a guy who says, hey, Kreskin has this... What is uh, the difference? Let's say Kreskin can walk through a crowd and out of 100 people look into someone's eyes What's and figure out if they're hiding an envelope. What's the difference? Scott, 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 how do they do the that? difference wait, wait, wait. when Paul McKenna comes in right. and out of the people that he has to wean down... Right. He, uh, like, first of all, Doug I, was a good. Doug was a good. We, it, we kept the camera on the whole time. He didn't hypnotize anybody. But he had a. Oh. Yeah, that's right. They wanted to please Kreskin because he's such a charismatic he's guy. He's an instant Wait. hypnosis guy. Oh. He can Wait. hypnotize you instantly. I know he did a trick. I'm saying I don't know how he did the trick. Uh, hold on a second. There was somebody in the back that you didn't even get to. A table of four people, and their table was just sh- rocking just a little bit. They didn't yell at Kreskin. You, they didn't want it. Can someone bring in a table? I'm, you want to see the condition yeah. of these tables? Someone bring in a table. Table from E. I will show you the condition Dude, of the tables. Dude, we, showing you. we saw the condition there. Tables. Their arms were. Scott, you know moving. how to do it. Yes. Me, Ralph, Robin, we'll and we'll Jackie. Right hold on, hold on. We'll stop, sit. stop, stop. Okay. Me, Ralph, Robin, and Jackie yes. are now going to sit with our hands on a table and get us to do it. Because it, you know how it's, it's done. But it's not It's not going to work unless... But how come Kreskin, knows? Kreskin said ahead of time, oh. this is what I'm going to do, and people did it. Yeah, now, well, you, now you know how to do it. And I want to please you. But it's God, only it based you. upon people wanting to get into the Go studio. out on the street. Let's fine. You get get them. Go out now and go get Howard. them. We'll have it at the end of the show. What's the amazing the amazing Einziger. Yeah, Howard. Ah. <laughs> All right? There you go. Uh, Einziger. The amazing Einziger. Go out now. Go find people. Go on and get them off the street. But they already have to get to be the Howard Stern show. They're not going to do it so I look like a a-hole. No, but Kreskin knew the shtick was. They're not going to do it to make me they look like an a-hole. It's not going to work. We won't have any I'll tell you what they did. Yeah. Go ahead. Go out there and find four no, no. people. It's not going to work. Do it with us. <laughs> no, you do it with anybody you want. Yeah, I'll show you. Find four strangers who don't listen to the show. Einziger, find four strangers who don't listen to the show. This is really hard. Now he's over there without a... That That's not what was happening. That, that Dude, was not what was happening. Why do you think they want to do that? To get on I put the microphone on. But please. they were on the show already. They weren't on the show already. They had to get picked by. But they, in here, they were on the show already. And it's exciting to be in front of Howard. Wait, that microphone's not working. Get that Wait a second. We, have, we don't have a wireless microphone. Howard, you know what we just heard? Because my engineering department is sucky. <laughs> there, I said why it. Why can't Scott Eisinger fix them? Yeah. They fix the microphones. Never mind the tables. Right now. The guy that. They'll come in and. T- Forget it. Forget. The wireless doesn't even work in the studio. Who are these people? Who's now? this Come girl? Again. Oh, good. Here's a girl. I don't have a wireless microphone, though. I can't mic them. Come over here. Use the one on the stand, please. Check one, two. Turn it on. All right. Here's four people, Scott. All Testing right. Make one, it two. work. All right. What's your name? The microphone doesn't work. Come over here. Come over here. I can't do anything spontaneously. It doesn't work. You Say something. Sure. It doesn't work. What? Oh, it doesn't work. Look at Scott. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Hi, my name is Sharon. Yeah. And I was one of the people who was in the room at the time. Okay, and what happened to you? Um, I didn't even know what was going on. I um. Did your table start shaking? Did you the shake table the started? table? No, I didn't touch it. The table started shaking. Right. Um, I didn't feel anything, but the other girl started getting very emotional and started feeling heat. People were freaking Howard, out. Howard, the yeah. guy that was freaking out in here? Yeah. Uh, he uh, he had an accident. Um, in his pants? Yeah. Wow. Because oh. uh, he, he showed us, you know, before he left. <laughs> oh. uh, so uh, whatever Scott's saying, that guy believed what was going on. Wait, wait, right. wait a second. What about it when? What about out. when the tables are shaking? Scott, wait a second. What? what about when the tables are shaking and Crescent says, "Lift your hand up," and li- and the whole table stopped? I mean, what? Everybody's going to stop at the same time, Scott? I'm ready Scott? To do it. I'm ready and he to do said, it. "Lift one hand up." Oh, he's ready. All right, Scott is ready, ready for his seance. His All right, is that working now, the microphone? The amazing Einziger. All right. It's not working. Why are you... Testing. Testing. Okay. okay, good. Yes, it does work. All right, connect the pinkies. Here goes the amazing Einziger. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, now, be, be, now pretend you want to get on the show. Pretend you want to get on the show. Thank you. Oh, That's the, the Scott. Oh, 
Oh. Scott, the table's not even shaking. No. You got, think what, you were in the hallway, think what Crescent was saying. It was getting everybody riled up. Start. Oh, don't the guys. No, don't say what he was saying. You know what to do. Try to, w w try and contact Sam okay. Kinison and feel some power. That's all. Move Just hold your fingers. Don't, don't move the table. No, think about the table moving. Feel the table move. Feel it move. <laughs> <laughs> How come it's not moving, Scott? Feel the table moving. How come it's not moving? Because it's like a rock. Because it's funnier for me to look like an a-hole oh, to them, to, to those oh. people, to you and the audience. They have an investment uh, in making you a fool. But they have no investment, Scott. Fine. I still, I was out there and I saw what I saw. Yeah, we know what you saw, but it doesn't explain how he did Once it. Once they weren't here, they could have stood I'm up not and Kreskin. said, this is crap. Kreskin is we getting them in a, in a frenzy. How did he get them in a frenzy? I was in the room. I'll show you the tape. I don't even think Kreskin is that no. excited. I, I was like... I didn't did feel Kreskin any emotional. Get you, did nothing. Kreskin get you in a frenzy? No, and that's why did you feel okay, obligated? Oh, excuse me. Nothing. Did you feel obligated to please Kreskin? No, I was and that's to why. Be in the room. And that's didn't why you, you kind didn't of make it let in. me ask you a question. Be honest. Right. Did you feel like you had to please him? Yeah, like if you you wouldn't come through to him, did you feel like you, you weren't gonna? No, I had no connection with him. And that's why right. she wasn't picked. Thank you. No, I was. Picked. No, she, she was, was picked. picked. Oh. <laughs> she was right there. Uh, Thank you. How do you explain Thank that, you. Scott? Thank She's you. a normal girl. She was at a table with three other people who wanted very badly to be in the show. Oh, oh no, other person. three. Two Scott, needed. how about the but guys I interviewed the other people. It's they the odds. You need okay, one person. Whatever. Howard, Howard, you know what he's saying. How about the guys from Harlem? They didn't want to be here. No, 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 I just those guys from Harlem were into it. The guys from Harlem wanted to go home. To acknowledge the evil spirit, and they will. You, get it, right. and they will tempt all the others. Right. She was tempted, but now because, she is with us. Because and we... Kreskin singled out people from the table. Fine, <laughs> fine. You Show me you do, do it. it. You do can't it. even do it. No, not her. Yes, she's. She is saying that she. She witnessed. Saying that. What am I saying? You don't even know what you're she's saying. She's a complete. <laughs> that's crackhead Bob's girlfriend. She's saying that you. Howard, you right. saw. Is he saying? All right, that Scott. Scott, ring Scott each all I'm oh, saying is. Twenty. Forget Scott, it. I'm not going to argue this anymore. You yeah. The point is, it's, 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 it's right, a Can I go on with my show? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Did you Scott, need one fucking person. Scott. Dude, I'm telling you. Did, I mean, after, after that demonstration, I mean, does that change your mind at all? No, because you need one person to get the table going, and these people will do anything to get on the show with Howard. And Kreskin pointed out people and kicked them out, and you don't want to be kicked out. So you know, if you know that the way to get into that studio is to shake a table, you shake a table. Yeah, but what about the Harlem guys? How do you explain that guy running out here and crying? The guy, I don't know, he's a wacko. I don't know, why do people don't eat know. shit out of Jackie's ass? I don't know. Pete, he, worked, Pete worked for Kreskin. Is anything you know, he, he's, he's, a, he's a master manipulator. Yeah, that's what it is, basically. But you don't know what he does. You've worked with him. I yeah, I worked with him. He should be in there. Well, what would you say? He manipulates. He's, he he. Don't you agree, do you agree with me? Well, he says, Kreskin suggests, he says he suggests. But you agree with my, my, okay. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. Pete, you just got yourself in a lot of trouble, man. I've been on the show, Howard. I know you, you crawl into a hole, right. you dig a hole, and it keeps getting digger, deeper, you just want to get out of it. Right. Scott just whispered in my ear, I have someone that can prove my theory. Uh -oh. Oh. not done yet. Oh, please. You know what? Please. Can I call him in? Who is your insider? Uh, Pete, my cameraman, who used to work for Kreskin. Okay, listen, Ooh. listen to me. You won't call him in because you know that he'll... No, 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 that's fine. Yeah. If the cameraman comes in and says, Kreskin gets everybody in a frenzy, I'm going to say, okay... That's amazing. Let me see you do it. I don't see how he gets people in a frenzy. Okay. This guy can used to watch in? Kreskin do it. Maybe then he can yeah. do it. Can, can I, I call, him? call him in if it satisfies you? Go ahead. The amazing Pete. <laughs> the amazing Pete. <laughs> can I say something? Yeah, say something. <laughs> that um, I was. Uh, I don't believe in paranormal and all this stuff. And the table was moving, and it didn't seem. It didn't appear to me that anybody at my table. I was watching people's shoulders to see and, and, if they were yeah. shaking the table. Yeah. They weren't. Their Nobody muscles weren't moving. The table was. Did you watch too? The table was moving. Lately. The people's arms weren't moving. They were moving with the table, not moving the table. Right. Go ahead. What do you want to say? You well, and the camera. Well, I'm just saying that Einziger here is like close to the money, but I mean he's not getting it right on the nail. It is something he's manipulating the people that he chooses. Another brilliant explanation. No, no, no yeah, yeah, you know, this is a guy saying, I know how Kreskin. Right on the I, I know how Kreskin does it. He manipulates people. Okay, well, listen, I gotta take a break. Scott and Pete, the dopey duo. Come on, seriously. I mean, that's an awful explanation. He like suggests things. Fine. I'm saying he's a. You watched him do it 
more times than once, what and you, you still saying? can't do it. What are you I'm, saying? I'm saying that. <laughs> you know what? I'm sick of both of you. You know what? Pete right. just looked at Scott and said, what are you saying? Yeah, Scott and Pete. But no, listen. Pete. Nice guy. Strong guy. I can see that. <laughs> Sometimes well, no, strong guys aren't hypnot- also the brightest guys. Or something? What? You're no. saying it's hypnotic? I'm not say- I say I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it, too, but I know it's not... <laughs> It's not channeling people. No, we know spirit. that. What are you saying? We know that. And then, you know Scott's what? saying he knows how he does it, but he doesn't. Scott and Pete. Yeah. Please. Your re- explanation sounds retarded. Fine. Wait a second. I didn't even have a chance. No, you had your chance. <laughs> and Pete. He's got a better explanation. Kreskin influences people. Pete well, isn't. Thank you for the explanation. Pete's, Pete's not articulating it properly. Okay. Can right. I? Sorry. Are you saying Pete's stupid? No, he's not articulating. Hey, you're calling Pete stupid. He'll no. kick your ass. Yeah, no, he would. <laughs> well, what did he have what? to say? Isaacer must have heard something in the hall. Yeah. Why are you getting everyone? And yeah, he gets, singly he, pick out people and say you're out because you're not. It's not working. I think some of the people that he. What? Some of these people. Yeah, that are, uh, you know, they want to be on camera, so they'll uh, let themselves. Okay, all right, all right. You know, well, that's a great explanation. I hope I can go home and do that trick to everybody. Yeah. Uh, he worked with them for two years and what? can't explain it. Right. I mean, the guy picked 20 people, not one. The great thing that I like one about Kreskin is that one. every trick that he does, no one can ever figure out how That's he does right. it. and they all work. Including magicians. That was, you know, his I, margin for failure was astronomical in absolutely that room, and he was. did not fail. Right. I, saw this, I saw the thing, too, and Scott, the thing is that everybody can't get hypnotized. Not every individual is going to be able to do True. it. All right, I'm so, bored with this topic. No, but so the guys that he hypnotized, you know, they were hypnotized. John, John, I'm bored oh. with the topic. I saw <laughs> right. Kreskin do it. It was an amazing feat. No, I know. I'm just, yeah. There is no one in this room knows how he does it, including right. Scott Einzig. <laughs> Scott is going to blow the joke for us. Yeah. And tell us yeah, how it You was know done. what was funny? Scott was really afraid to bring it out because he didn't want to ruin the show. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? He says to me, I don't know if you want me saying this on camera because yeah. it'll ruin the show. I don't know. I, I, not only, thing. hey, Howard, I think I could drop the bomb. Not only did he not ruin the show, but now this show will air on Monday. Right. <laughs> Scott and Pete, pull your IQs and become one moron together. Because I'm telling you, you guys do not I'm know not each other. I'm not saying good. I mean, he does, right. I mean, whatever he does is great. It's <laughs> that's amazing. Does. It's amazing and right. all that stuff. But I mean, he's not like some, you know, spiritual. Uh, you're kidding. Whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, whatever. Listen, all right. good with words. Pete's been Scott the Pace's roommate for years. So <laughs> all right, to tell what's the deal. Yeah. Then obviously you've yes. been influenced by another guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's half owner of the shot glass collection. Okay. That's my shot glass collection. Pete, congratulations. I know you're Go confused. You, Scott, you're confused. Everyone is all confused. Maybe thank you. Maybe he us too. I look like a total so asshole. You're glad you went in, Pete? No, because I went in. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. a bone. Yeah. Okay, what do you say? No, I, I go in there. I don't know what they're asking me. As soon as I go in there, they're like, you're an idiot. Scott is a, he's a pretty smart guy, and I think that he probably has an idea of what went on. I just think that maybe he probably went up against the wrong bunch of people to say that he didn't believe it. It's a, it's a tough room in there, and no matter what kind of thoughts you may have when you go in there, they get all, they come out a different way. What was Scott, he, he was saying that they just that they all just did it purposely, right? I think what the thing is, no, it's just what Kreskin is a hypnotist, and he was able to hypnotize the people to, you know, believing that, you know, that there was this was going to happen, and they believed so much that, you know, maybe they shook the table, you know what I mean? But they didn't do it because they wanted to. They did it because they had hypnotic suggestion. Did you hear that whole argument going on in there? I don't know that. You think Scott Anson is right or wrong? I think no. I think not. No, he's crazy, right? Bait. Even you know that they think this yeah. is reality to Kreskin. Yeah. Right? yeah. Everyone knows that. Right? Every none. Every none. I know. He knows. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Dick. So, Scott, you're still sticking with your, uh, yeah. your beliefs to the day I die. Even though everyone does, disagrees with you That's pretty okay. much? To the day I die. Can I say thank you. Thank you for watching the Howard Stern Halloween special. Night. Now, thank you for watching the Petso. Howard Stern special. Howard Stern, that's so. Thank you for watching the Howard Stern special. Now, thank you for watching the Howard Stern, that's so. Yeah.